Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another utility category operator that is dematerialize. In the previous video, we have seen about the materialize, right? So the same opposite of this one is nothing but dematerialize. So if you have a notification object, so which has, which consists of a, we have already seen about this observable notification object, which consists of a properties kind value error and has value properties, right? So that uh, object is called as a notification object. If you have a notification object, so is as a source observable and if you pass that notification objects through dematerialize operator then that one will be converted into a value so that is nothing but a dematerialize so where that materialize what it will try to do so if you have a values if you pass it through the materialize object it will convert into a notification object each value will be converted into a notification object and now if you have a notification objects when you pass it through the dematerialize it will dematerialize that each value and it will convert into a value that is nothing but a dematerialize so here, if you try to sit, read the definition, converts an observable of observable notification objects into emission that that represents. So this is the definition, and syntax it doesn't have any parameters, and the return value will be the observable of values. And here unwraps the notification object as actual next error and complete emission, the opposite of materialize. So here, if you try to see, you have a source observable which has a notification objects, and these all will be converted into a values so this is the dematerialized thing so now here let's try let i will show you the dematerialize so here if you try to see the notification object you'll be able to see here kind n value like this so this is a notification object and when you pass it through the dematerialized thing so everything will be converted into values this is a simple thing so it's a it's a it's a opposite of the materialized thing now i will try to show you the practical practical implementation so how it will be working so here if you try to see dematerialize operator now let go let's open operators.component.html and here i will try to add dematerialize right so this is the dematerialize and let's go to the app routing yeah in this app routing let's try to see and here we will try to add this dematerialize also and here i am adding dematerialize and here dematerialize let's try to use this dematerialize now let's go to the dematerialize yeah now in this one how can how we can create is so something like obs notification okay so i will create something like this so it is of type observable notification it should be it should be of type observable notification it should be imported from the rxjs and here so the return type also you need to mention the type it is an object now here you will be having error kind value now you can take so kind what is the kind so you will be having three values c e r n c means complete error or n so as it is an extension so you will have an extension and you can mention the value these are the must and should so the value as we have you have indicated that it is it should be of type number so you can you need to mention number only and now this is one type of notification now what i can do here so let's take this notification obs notification let's try to pass this notification to here and this one should be imported from the rxjs directly and let's try to add subscribe if you try to add this subscribe So if you have the subscribe thing now let's try to open rxjs and here we are having dematerialize if i click here so let it open yeah if i click here you'll be able to see kind n and value 10 so we are directly able to see the notification object directly now when you pass an operator here dematerialize okay dematerialize now when you pass an object dematerialize now the output will be in a such a way that if you try to refresh let it refresh the page now if you try to see the value will be only 10 why because that notification object will be converted so dematerialize will be converted that one and it will give you only the value from this notification object so this is the how you will be using the notification object so now here you need to understand that you cannot pass something like 10 20 comma 30 like this you cannot pass why because dematerialize will throw an error so dematerialize will take only the notification objects only so it will convert the notification objects into normal value so that means you need to pass notification object so this is the main thing 
Now, how we can use this? For example, let us say that I have a for loop. Uh, now, let us try to say that uh, you let us uh, let us have this one as array. So, here you will be having array. Okay, I will mention this one as an array. So, notification. So, we have a notifications. Now, what I will try to do? I will try to loop over this one. Let i is equal to 0, i less than 10, i plus plus in a such a way and here I can do obs notification observable notifications dot push okay dot push and here what we need to do so here you need to pass kind kind means whether it should be a notification or anything n and here you need to do value so I can pass directly the i value okay so this is that's it so we have a for loop and here instead of using this from we can use this of okay or otherwise you can use this from sorry you can use this of and you can do something like spread operator so this is also okay fine not a problem now we are passing each value to the dematerialized thing now let us try to see so we will have used this complete uh, not short form full form notation so now next you will be having the data so here let us try to print console.log of data right oh sorry plus dot not plus dot here equal to here like this and another one you will be having next an error right error and this one you will be getting an error and here you can do console.log of error and another last one is a complete sorry complete and here you will have console.log of complete okay now this is the thing so now here we have added a observable notification now if you try to see the output what could be the output here it will print 0 to 9 here automatically so whatever the notification object we are passing here now if i try to remove this uh, what i can say dematerialize now you will be able to see all the notification objects printed automatically if you try to see here see these all things kind way n n these all n means notification sorry next and the value is like this so now if i pass if i add a notification op uh, dematerialize operator here this all notification a notification object will be converted into a value it will extract the value from this notification and it will send you accordingly properly okay and also at the end it is and also at the end it is printing the complete also this is about the dematerialize operator so you understood about this materialize and also dematerialize operator right so materialize will convert each value into notification object and that whereas the dematerialize will take each uh, it will take the notification object and it will convert it into the value so this is about the materialize and the dematerialize hope you understood about this utility operator so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you